What's going on, everybody? Thank you guys for so many questions that are coming in, especially from my new members uh, that have been joining me on YouTube. Members are different from the subscribers. You have to click the join button in order to uh, become a member and you will get emotes and everything like that. That will be added to your name for whenever I live stream and I answer your questions specifically. But getting into the content of what's been going on with the new players that have been added, you guys have been going crazy about this Randy Moss. And um, some of you guys have been no money spent all year. All right, I have not been no money spent all year, only the last two months, but I've been down to zero coins, been back up to a million, been down to zero, been back up to 2.5. So there are ways that I'm able to do this stuff and I document everything that I'm doing with you guys so that it's a journey, all right? So look, this is what we're gonna talk about right now. We're gonna show, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what's going on, like the whole code breaker to get that Randy Moss for as cheap as possible, all right? Pretty much what I did was, I tried the first method of gambling with 270k inside the Ultimate Legends exchange. All right, I went to this random Ultimate Legend Career Edition player set and I gambled. Obviously, I'm dead broke, so my gambling days are over. Plus, I already have Randy Moss, so it doesn't really matter. These cards right here, I'm going to tell you right now, do not spend any more. Like, this is even cheaper than it was before. If I had 80k, I would try it. Do not spend more than 90K for each of these cards for any reason possible because what EA Sports is going to do is give you a 97 overall card that's going to go for like nothing, all right? This is a major risk, but a lot of you guys were able to pull it from this and get Moss when he was at his higher end tier. Right now, he's very cheap, so you can, you know, cheap compared to other cards that should, you know probably be a little bit more expensive with the caliber that Moss is supposed to be. But because everybody knows that he's never going to burn anybody or run by anybody typically, depending on the zone coverages and the stuff that they pick, he's not really Randy Moss in Madden 19. But for us that love Randy Moss, like me, like Randy Moss is my dude. I've always loved him. And, you know, whatever. I think he's the greatest wide receiver ever. I'm going to get him on the squad regardless. I don't care what Madden is doing, nerfing him. He can't run by anybody. The dude couldn't run by a dead squirrel. But... If he's able to get some, you know, leeway, he will go, you know, past somebody and possibly just not catch the ball. But we all want him regardless. So the first step is this. You are not going to spend anything above 90K. Even though you just saw those at 80, typically people try to, you know, charge 100K because people know that this set is what people are going after to get these higher range cards. So several of my viewers have pulled Randy Moss right here from this. All right. So you gamble with about 240 to 270 and Randy Moss right now, I think he's going for like 700K. So that what I would recommend is that you do it once. I would not recommend that you gamble with it twice because if you spend 580, you might as well have just put it towards getting him because I got him for about 636 or something like that. I think I got like 630, something with the 600s, but I bought his cards individually. All right, inside his set. So this is one way to do it, but I would only gamble once. Most of you guys will get him on the first pull. If you get something else that's, you know, relatively decent, you can sell it and then get Randy Moss. But most of you guys will probably get something really, really bad like I did and just get a basic 97. All right. So that's one of the ways that you can actually go about doing it. The obvious way is just, you know, lurking this section right here. Lurking this, seeing what's going on. All right, what you going for right here? All right, he's down to 288. All right, dudes are realizing that he's garbage. All right, cool. You go over here. What is he at right here? All right, 290. All right, so you're at like 570. So you're going to be a little bit under what I paid for him if you get him right now with the way that his prices are. So you're going to, you know what I'm saying? You're going to still be at like that 633, 640 range with the way all the prices are right now. But again, some of you guys that are telling me, yo, g my, but I don't even have that. Well, you're going to have to start grinding because if you're not going to spend money on the game, which I don't care if you spend money or not, like I'm not trying to be no money spent to, you know, make it seem more appealing. I just hate the gameplay and I don't want to spend my money on the game because it's making me look like an absolute idiot. So that's the only reason I'm no money spent. Don't get it twisted. If this game was good, I'll be dropping bank. I'm going to tell you that right now. So it's not a real big deal. It's just that until they fix the gameplay, it doesn't make any sense to get a player that they say is doing a certain thing, but he's really not doing it. That's my biggest issue about it. I just don't like that they do that. I don't think it's fair to us that they tell us that these cards are doing all this stuff, but we know in our hearts that they're really not doing it. Whether you want to believe it or not, it doesn't really make much sense. I think it needs to stop, but again, will it? I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and um, 
talk about the fact that right now, with the way that that was right now, you probably would spend about the same amount that I got them for, which is about 633 to 640 as the cheapest route to go. Now, when you go inside the set, right? When you go inside the set and you see all those prices, if they're not the same, get out of the set. Don't buy it if it's not the same numbers. You don't want to spend any more than like 640 on Randy Moss. I promise you that. Now, we go over to this section over here and we are going to type in his name and I think his most recent sold price was like 700 and something. All right? Can you snipe it for less? Yes. There are people with no brain power that will accidentally put the card up and you will be able to snipe. All right? But if that doesn't happen for you, you can see how you can save a little bit by doing it instead of buying it outright at 725, you could save a little bit with the sixes right there. But those prices fluctuate. So some of you guys that were messaging me like, yo, bro, I got it for 640, I got it for 630, I got it for 660, I got it for like 640. So it don't really matter. We, you know, we, we, we still gotta come up, we still have value in the card. Um, I just need you guys to spend the least amount, all right, to get it. So those are the ways that you can get that portion of it. Um, I want to make sure that everyone is aware, however, of the solo challenges that go into the situation, all right? Because you can pull a high overall, like a 90 from this, like I did, all right, to go into the set if you wanted to do it like that. Um, I didn't pull the 90 Randy Moss. I think it was like an Ed Reed. I did it offline. But you can pull a card that can be part of it if you do the actual set. So get these done. Not only that, you need that token to get your free card in two weeks. In two weeks, all of us is getting a free 97 plus overall card. So, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be another way for us to make bread, whichever way we decide to do it. It's not about how we're going to use it. It's about the fact that EA has to give it to us. That's the thing about it. So, you see right here, most of us are going to get a 97 overall player. You know what I'm saying? Let's not fool ourselves. But the key thing about it is, in two weeks, they're going to probably have already released Alan Page and every other card that we, I think we need. I think we need a, I need an Alan Page for defense. And I think that's about it. And then I'm good to go. After that, it doesn't really matter for me. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I'm really, I'm Gucci. I'm done. I'm ready to go. It is what it is. All right? So that's the cheapest way to get them. Now we're going to take a look at his card. All right? Let's figure out right now. All of us are going to take a look at some of the things that are going on with his card. And I'm going to explain to you some of the things that have been going on within the gameplays in which I've used them, which, you know, I live stream live on Twitch daily. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash G Myers World. Or just go to Twitch and type in G Myers World and search for me. You'll be able to see all my past broadcasts. You do not have to be subbed to me to see my past broadcasts. I know some uh, partners on Twitch do that. I don't think that it's fair to do it like that for you to be forced to sub to watch my gameplay. But um, that's the reason I will send you guys there if you want to see it in full and just see what's going on with all the cards. And for whatever reason, you don't see enough right here on uh, YouTube, all right? Also, there's G Myers World Gaming on YouTube where I will break down some games and put it down over there for you guys to watch them and just have fun with your popcorn ready and just be chilling on the same actual site. Some of you guys prefer YouTube over Twitch. Some of you guys prefer Twitch over YouTube. Whatever it is, I'm on both platforms, all right? Now, when you look at this right here, you would think, other than a short route running, which I don't know why EA just, just didn't give them, you know, full 99s, you would think that this card is really, really sick, right? You'd say, yo, bro, g bro, I need this card. Let me just explain something to you really, really quickly. One of the things that I like about this card is that he's a stock 99 in speed. Now, we've gone back and forth. Uh, some of you guys make good points about, you know, maybe the chems are inconsistent. That's why I feel that way, because you've added certain things like spin move and things like that. Uh, through blue chems and they spin now I hear your voices bro trust me I'm gonna tell you right now I hear your voices but what I have to tell you is this because the threshold of spin varies throughout the mode that's not really a consistent argument for instance I'll go into draft champions and I'll spin somebody's butt cheeks off their body with the 80 overall spin move that's just because it, it's different in all the modes that's one of the inconsistencies that I have an issue with with the game um, I think that all the modes should play the same. The threshold should be the same. That way we know what we're looking for in order to get it. But then again, in Madden 17 or 18, when they came up with that 91 zone, I also didn't like that as well. So maybe it, it, they just need to make the cards play how the cards show it on their stats. That's what I ultimately think they need to do. Once they do that, I don't think anybody's going to complain. Because once they fix the gameplay, if you go back to my videos prior to, um, prior to 16, I would be mad at myself. And that would be it. I didn't really hate my opponents. You know what I'm saying? It was always competitive, but I knew I had user. I knew things. if I made a mistake, it's on me. 
after 16, when I realized that the game is made for dead penguins, I realized that EA Sports is intentionally making the game inconsistent to make me rage. That Thus, you have G. Maya right now. Did I used to rage back then? Yes, but I was mad at myself. The inconsistencies with the game is why I don't really want to tell you that this card will make a difference for your team other than the fact that I just love me some Randy Moss. Like, I'm never going to be scared to tell you guys that. I love me some Randy Moss, so I think he should, I think he should be on your team. You know what I'm saying? I think he absolutely should be on your team. Now, you guys want me to go into more depth with that? I will in the future about the other uh, uh, wide receivers that you could use. But because of his deep route chemistry, um, he like that's that's pretty much what you need on every card. You got to be able to you got to be able to do the deep out route. You got to be able to do the deep out route. Um, well, not the deep route. You could do the deep out route, but also the deep crosser because that's all this game is about. You have to gamble and hope that the corner comes down because the game is broken and then you'll dot your opponent uncontrollably. That's what you have to hope for, okay? Now, some of you guys have asked me, like, yo, g I need you to, you know, thoroughly explain what's going on. It's very, very difficult for me to explain it simply because, like, um, if, if they don't have a practice mode in Mutt, so when I do it live, it's kind of weird because I don't know what my opponent's going to do, and it's kind of stupid. Because some of you guys want to know exactly how I use the Deep Route Specialist, but I show you in all my gameplays, and it's available here, GMI's World Gaming, and on Twitch in live gameplays. But this is a very, very glitchy red chem to use because this route is one of the ones that's the most unguardable. Unless, for, for any specific reason, you play a Psychopath that's running Nickel Big over G, and they're rushing three and getting instant pressure because when you fake hike, they don't go off sides, and that's why I don't think coaching adjustments should be in the game, and I think it ruined the game, but that's, that's neither here nor there. The bottom line is, is this guy going to make your game different? More than likely, if you already had him chemmed up prior to this card's release, you won't see an immediate difference. I have not seen an immediate difference in him. I would be lying to you guys if I said that I did. But I will tell you this. As far as the visual appeal of all the things that you see when you go to his card, that's all I care about. Because that's that's what I've been that's what I've succumbed to. I've taken so much from the back door from EA that I just want to press the button and I want to you know compare him to another card and I want to look at how beautiful the card is. That's all I want to do now because that's what it's about. We know when we get into the game, he will be wide open and the ball hit him in the helmet and it'll just fly into the you know fly to somebody else from the picket. It is what it is. But I do recommend if you want someone that you know if if, the, if they press and they're in certain defenses like cover four drop, it's going to be very, very difficult to beat that blue, that deep blue zone because the game doesn't make sense. Um, in man-to-man -man coverage, it's almost impossible to beat somebody in man-to-man -man right now. Uh, I think I think they overdid the man coverage because if they press, they when, when you throw the ball, if the player that you're playing clicks on, he gets a speed burst. If they don't click on, you're usually going to catch it. But the speed burst is what really, really hurts the game, in my opinion. And, um, you know, that's why I wouldn't recommend him to somebody that doesn't really know how to utilize him. So the deep route specialist is what makes him really, really good. Um, that's usually when he's going to get open on a deep crosser. The streaks are very, very dangerous in this game, depending on the blue zones that you're going up against. All right. So be very, very careful with that. Unless you run like trips and you put him in a slot and then you just streak him down the middle and the guy's in cover too. If you bullet pass it, sometimes they'll give it to you. Sometimes, you know, the guy will click on, get a speed burst and catch it and pick you off and run it for six. Then pick your mom's up, do her, drop her off a block away from the house and just be disrespectful. But before all of that even goes on, I just need you guys to understand this. Overall, I've given you every way you can get him the cheapest way possible. Do not break the bank to get him if you had him the way that I had him prior, where he was already chemmed up to 99 speed and all that stuff. Because in all honesty, I really haven't seen a difference yet. All right? I will be back with more information about breaking down some more film with you guys about, you know, the deep, deep route chemistries and all that stuff. And also some of the specific things that my members have asked. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. Until next time. One love.